Hi, my nappies. How y'all doing? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> um, I got a few things I want to talk about today. I am first giving you a hair update of how my hair is doing. Um, I've been doing a pretty good job of trying to condition and take care of my hair. I'm giving it a treatment. Um, the product that I've been using, I want everybody to see, is um, by Motions uh, CPR. I used to use this product when I was a permy, and because my hair broke off a lot when I got my hair permed because I have psoriasis, I would use this to stop some of the breakage and it would, it would work. So I went and picked this up because I ha I was having a significant amount of breakage. Um, on this side, I have a patch that like totally broke off all the way down, and uh, it's now growing back. Um, and also on this side, there's a small patch. I don't know what was up with that, but um, I also gave myself like a trim, a good trim. And um, my hair is starting to feel like it's trying to get back to normal. Um, what I did to my hair just this past weekend was I washed and deconditioned it. And then I um, twisted it up. And I, well, I blow dried it. But I blow dried it on a cool setting with my blow dryer, and it worked just fine. Um, I think sometimes we always think that we need a little heat to straighten it, but I wasn't like really trying to make it like really like straight. I just blew it out like enough to stretch it out, and uh, this is my result. So it turned out pretty good. My goal is to leave these in three weeks now. I don't know if that's going to happen. Those twists usually don't last as long for me as braids, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay, so moving on. Um, I went to Target to look for Miss Jessie's products, okay? I went on the 29th of March, and they were supposed to be out the 28th, but Target had not stocked them yet. Um, it was in their inventory, but they hadn't stocked the product yet. This is just my target. Um, I have been hearing through the grapevine that some people were disappointed because they had not found the pro you know, they hadn't found the product. Well, I went in there today, and they had it. Um, they had, like, one, like, row of, um, stuff with a small display, and they had, um, some Miss Jessie's products. Um, not everything was there, okay? I saw some, um... The big jar of the baby buttercream, there was one jar of the regular buttercream, and it was a small jar, and there was curly pudding. There was no curly meringue. Um, there was a quick curl, but there was no, like, stretch soaking cream. Um, all the shampoos and conditioners were there, but that's all that I've seen there. And, like, the jars of baby buttercream, it was just, like, the big jars. Like, how come they didn't carry, like, the smaller jars? And the jars are pricing at $58. I'm not really sure what they are on the website, but I think it sounds like it's about the same. Um, they also had Jane Carter's um, stuff there. It was a handful of stuff there. Um, Shea Moisture products were there. I'm not really familiar with Shea Moisture products. I've used their conditioner before, but like as a sample. But I didn't know that they had like a whole line behind it. Like they have like a shampoo conditioner. They have a... Um, Curling cream, they have like, I don't know if this is new, I don't know. And then Curls Products has their downgraded version of their products at Target also in these colorful bottles that are pricing between $7.99 to $9.99 a piece. Um, my question about that is, why is there like, like a bargain version of the Curls Products when your competitors are clearly selling their full strength products. Like, I don't understand that. Like, you don't think that your consumers who order your products faithfully online would want the convenience of buying the curl products in Target. I mean, if I was a vivid curl product user like my girlfriend is, she was very disappointed that she couldn't buy 
the curl souffle that she usually uses. Because I was telling her that the curl pot was coming, but it was a downgraded version. And I was just like, yeah, it's not the regular. She was just like, well, she's not going to buy that. She's going to keep ordering offline. So why wouldn't you do the regular products? I mean, that's just my opinion. It seemed like that would make more sense. Because none of your consumers really know about these products. Okay. Um, the next thing on my agenda, and I think this is going to be my last one I'm going to close out. I was reading a blog, Urban Curls blog, um, and I'll put a link down in the uh, description box. Um, Chris said Michelle cut off all her hair. She went bald. She was doing a performance in Albany, and she was about to go there, I guess, I think it was a university or a school, and before she went there, she decided that she was going to cut off all her hair, all the perm. She didn't want it anymore, and she said she's going to grow it out to be like a big natural, because she said that um, there were not enough images of celebrities wearing their natural hair. Um, and she's not talking about like how Tyra got on, it was just like, this is my natural hair and it's like perm straight hair and she's coming out with it wet. It's, no. She was like, no, I want my natural, kinky, curly, whatever I got, that's what I want. And, um, I admire her for doing that, but, um, and my hat is off to her. Um, cause she was like, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can put a picture in here, like, bald for real, like, all you see is like eyes and and her features are her features are real distinct. Um, so I think it's hotness that she did that. Um, but I mean, there are some females in the media, maybe not as mainstream as she is, but we have Jill Scott, we have India Ari, we have Erica Badu, um, we have Algebra, then she's like really underground. We have Ndambi. Um, there's ladies out there who are wearing their natural hair. So so I guess she's just want to join the ranks of the other celebrities who are wearing their natural hair. I like it. I think it's hot. So watch out for her because I, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. You know, I'm sure it's going to be funky because, you know, Chris is just funky anyway. She is just different on herself. Like, She's crossing over into mainstream, but she's like, her personality and her spirit is just, you know, Neo So, so that's it, my nappies. I am getting ready to go to bed because I got church in the morning. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, y'all. But whenever I do, hopefully the news won't be old. <laughs> Alright, that'll be good.